Okay, so this is the Proteus board that I've got to go into our new setup that I was mentioning on the last video. You can see it comes with a couple of the 40 amp, 30 milliamp RCDs, and these are four pole. So if you're installing your EV charge points, generally required unless you're lucky enough to have an EV charge point with a mechanical RCD built in, such as a pod point or the Rolex, they have them built in as well. These down here are MCBs linking into that, and I'll show you it all with the covers off and run through it. Comes with all of this pre built. You've got your four pole main switch and a couple, well, actually three single phase RCBOs. I've got some extras in the box down here some MCBs, sorry, some RCBOs and the SPD. So we've got that. We're going to have an EV charge point here on this install, so it made sense to go for this board, but it is going to serve some final circuits as well. So we've got the setup. We can lose one of these RCDs. I'm going to pop the SPD in the top as well, um, and then we can make use of the other MCB to link into that. I assume that's how it'll work, we'll have to see. That was kind of how I thought about it while I was ordering it. I might end up being wrong. We'll see how we build it up together. And then we've got these spare um, three phase outlet here for us to run a sub board over to that corner where I'm gonna set up a little recording area and demonstration place for people to come and practice on. So we're gonna have a, an OSB or apply booth arrangement down that end. And obviously we need some power down there. But you know, it's just going to be for demonstration purposes. It's not going to be actively used by anyone other than for the purposes of testing and putting electrical systems together to practice. So it's not actually going to serve a purpose. Where I am right now, these sockets are coming off this wall. We're putting our office building up here, so they're no longer needed. We've got the existing pipes dropping down the wall, which I'm hoping to work into the DB. It does have a gland plate on the top. I may end up popping some trunking up and around it, I think, in the end, just to make it a little bit easier to get these existing tubes dressed away. We'll see how that comes together once I've got this on the wall. I've got an isolation arranged so the fuses can be pulled. They are cut and I am approved by the DNO to pull them, but I wanted them to come and look at this. So they're coming anyway. They can make that isolation. I can strip this back up and out the way. For the time being, um, we'll have to see how that drops into here. If I can, I'll get the tube straight in the top of the DB. I'm just looking at it. It's a low profile one. We've used these on jobs before. Um, and they're really shallow, which is nice. I think the plant room job I showed in a school was when we were short of width in the plant room. So we went for this as a good solution to that problem. And it might not help us in this scenario because these tubes are stacked down the wall there. But we'll see. I might be able to cajole them into position with a little bit of faffing and playing. You can see it's actually broken out the adaptable box up there. So that's going to need some attention. Conduit box, I should say. I've got another one of these over here to go on a customer job. So I'm uh, installing these for customers as well as in our own premises and I've bought these. I think they're around 700 and something pound plus VAT each and that's loaded up with the RCDs, the main switch, MCBs and RCBOs which I think is cracking value. I think you struggle to beat that to be fair. Um, the build quality is fantastic. There's absolutely nothing wrong with Proteus gear whatsoever. I got this from CEF. So um, the myths about CEF pricing as well can bust those because generally they're pretty decent as long as you've got a trade account. Um, and yeah, that's going on to another school job, which I'm going to show on a separate video. But for the time being, I'm going to get this mounted up here. Then we can see how it might all fit together with the existing um, conduit. Obviously, we've got the light switches to, to wire into it as well. They can just go side entry. That should be pretty straightforward, that one. It's just these two top tubes. And then obviously when we come to wire out our final circuits in the office space, We've changed our plans on that now. So for those of you who watched the last video, we was going to bring it up to this window. We're not going to do that now. We're going to set it out in this middle area. I think I've marked on the floor. I'll probably cover them up when I stuff. You can see down here, we've got some marks for the corners. So we're going to come out and across so far. Then a little storage cupboard on the end. You'll see it as we pull that back together in a separate video. But yeah, we've changed our minds on that now. So this is going to be left as an open area um, where we can hand coats up and just uses a bit of a storage utility space, I guess, for brushes and mops and buckets. So we've got that excitement to come. For the time being, I'm going to get this on the wall. It does look like there might have been a, a bigger DB up here at one, st one time. I wonder if um, the prior occupant decided they didn't want three-phase board, because you see there's definitely some bits and pieces been there, isn't there? So let's get this apart. I'll get it on the wall and I'll jump back and show you how that all comes pre-wired in just a second just a quick one to show you inside this existing board here you can see it's a bit uh, dusty and crusty but everything looks in decent order to be reused 
all drops out the pipes from the top, so I should be able to shorten these two down and just drop in the top plate. I think I was overthinking that, so I'm going to get on with that now, but I just thought I'd quickly show you inside this old Hager board. A um, little bit crusty, but nothing too exciting to see in there. They were spares, as I thought, so nothing going on with those ones, which um, makes life a little bit easier. Okay, so I've got the board on the wall now. I'm just going to spin you around and show you exactly what I've done and give you a clear view of it all. So you can see now we have got this prettiest board mounted up. So I've gone for a height, sort of chest to weight height, made more sense. And I've got these tubes adjusted so they just drop straight down into the top, nice and straight. And then obviously this one coming off from this side, straight into the side. Um, they're all tubed in nicely. These are singles. Like I say, these sockets disconnected. I think I'm going to just drop a, so a socket uh, under the board somewhere just to use in the meantime, but I'll sort that in a sec. Um, and then when we come to wire out for our other circuits, again, we can just come off the top. There's a nice glanding plate there. I don't see the point of sticking a bit of containment around it for the number of circuits that I'm going to have on this. It's a small board. Um, and it's not really necessary, I don't think. So I'm going to get this wired up now. I'm going to take this RCBO out. I think I can just drop the SPD straight on, so that should be straightforward. Fingers crossed. And I'll report back in just a second when I've done that and show you what I've come up with. So you can still see we're by torchlight at the moment, but this is kind of the board getting to the stage it's dressed away. As I said, we've got the, the tubes dropping in the, the bottom and the side. Brought the final circuits down the left hand side just to keep them away from the cabling that runs up to this top row which was for the RCDs but I've popped the um, SPD in there so we've now got a C40 MCB leading up to that I'm not sure if that's the right setup for this Proteus board so that might end up getting adjusted um, but it worked in just getting it in there I guess for the time being so we're quite close to the intake the cabling up to it is short enough um, I'm pretty happy with that just as a temporary measure so we've got an SPD and I didn't have a band, so I've just dropped in a little stuffer for now, but I'm going to change that. And obviously the meter man's going to come back and change these tails anyway, but I have dropped in two new um, lives for the L1 and L2, and he's just got to swap out those um, neutral and L3 that were into that meter already, because obviously I don't want to go interfering with that, so he can um, get himself ready to go. But in the meantime, I can get some power on in here, because I do still have that metered connection. And... He's given me permission to pop the fuse back. So I'm going to do that so I can get a bit of power on. I've popped the, the lights onto um, the appropriate phase so I can turn that on. And um, yeah, just to really say, pretty decent board. I've got, to, I've got to admit, I'm quite impressed with it. I'm going to get the cover on and we'll see how it all looks buttoned up. But um, yeah, it's really easy to work in. Loads of entry points. Um, lots of room considering it's low profile to the wall. If I show you that again, it really is a slimline board, this compared to some of the other options that are available. And I think for the money, around 750 quid with the RCBOs and all the pre-wiring thrown in, so these um, wires were in there and cable tied up. I've cut them loose because I've had to fiddle about with them a little bit, but they were all tied up nicely. Same with the neutral fly leads, they were tied up nicely as well in the back of the board, so that was all done really. Just a case of popping it on the wall. Um, the main earth, I haven't got a lug with me tonight, so that's just gone in the earth bar for those of you eagle-eyed viewers who've spotted that and again we're going to revisit this one um, I'll come back to it as we build the rest of the unit up because none of these circuits are staying in this particular layout it's going to get changed this is just how I've done it for the time being like I said to get the lights on for tonight um, and yeah it's all going to get swapped about and retidied up so there's no point going too mad with the way it's dressed but I have um, largely swooped all the cables out to the left down the left hand side of that board they're all free um, pops a little cable tie on the CPCs as they've got towards the bottom of the board and um, yeah nicely dressed away pretty happy with it I'll get the lid on and then I'll show you it with the front covers all on okay so you can see we've got the power on I've put the other RCD back in just to fill the hole because I only had two of the spare blanks to pop in so just make sure no one can pop their fingers in there in the uh, meantime got the breakers in at the bottom at the minute we've only really got the lighting circuit and the water heater there's nothing else running it's all ready to go for the future we've got the spd powered so at least that's done and this rcd as well at this side is all energized and ready to rock with the ev charge point um we're waiting now on getting all of the um, tidy up work done on the main intake i'm not going to show you that at the minute because the dno guy hasn't left it in the best condition but it is temporary so i don't want to do him a disservice by showing it on the video but i will show you when it is all sorted out and tidied up um, but for the time being 
we do have the power on he has been back and popped all the fuses in and left it as is he needs to do some further repair work on the cabling coming down to our unit i'm told so we have that excitement to look forward to see the lights are all back on um, that's the destruction <laughs> pile of all the rubbish we've got the old consumer unit chucked down there uh, all the old packaging this is another one of these ev boards that i'm going to chuck in my van ready for tomorrow because we're off to a school sticking in a couple of ev charge points and um, yeah that's kind of where i'm at with this one for the time being we have got to put up the the um, office just behind me here as i've shown you already so we've got that to do all the electrics to do in there obviously we're going to have a lighting circuit we're going to have power for the sockets we're going to have a heater in there because like i said before there's no gas in this place so it's going to be electric heating so we need to run all our circuits for that we're going to take you through the whole thing how we do it it's just basically stud walls and then cabling it's nothing that exciting but we'll cover it on the channel and then over in that back corner over there we are going to pop all of the ply bays up and we can show you that as well we've got to take a three-phase cable over there I'm going to subdivide the circuits, as I said on another video, I think, into those booths just because it's easy and then running loads of cables back here. It's cheaper as well. Um, and it gives another point of testing. The idea is one of the booths will be a three-phase testing area with those sub-mains leading out to other booths, which are just going to have single phase in. And I think that's the best way of setting it up. It gives a bit of experience. We can have one set up maybe as a domestic kind of area, one as a commercial industrial, and then another one maybe as an office environment. I don't know. We'll wing it as we go along, but that's the, the theme of the idea. Really impressed with this Proteus bar. Finish on that. The quality is absolutely there. It's really well built. The screws go in nice. The front cover lines are beautiful. You have these front covers, which actually have little toggles on, so you can lock them shut nicely. They don't come loose in the box like some other manufacturers, so you're not going to lose them. So that's the other entry point just on the side there. It did end up coming in quite close to the seam, but I didn't want to move the height of that. And to be honest, I should have thought about the positioning of this a little bit better because I could have just shifted it up or down a bit to avoid that. But it just snuck in, just any further up, and I wouldn't have been doing it. Um, but yeah, really good board. Top, top quality stuff for the price. And like I say, you can take those plates off. You can add other expansion boxes on the top if you want. You can get all this gear. Um, so if you've got an EV job where you want to stack up a few boards with some extra, I don't know, SPDs or pen fault detection, again, if you want that, Proteus sell that pre-built already. So if you go on the CEF website, it's as good as anywhere to find this stuff. They have them um, configured with pen fault, detection, pen fault detection built in um, with your RCDs, MCBs, the whole lot, and it's all laid out in different configurations. So you can have single phase um, RCBOs, you can have the three phase TPN MCBs leading off to four pole RCDs and you know the options are endless and the scale and size varies massively. For those of you who don't know, Proteus builds some massive, massive switch gear. Um, it's really decent high end stuff and I know a lot of people maybe aren't really aware of the, the TPN offerings that they do at a distribution board level but it's the same quality. No complaints with it whatsoever. This is a 125 amp board. Obviously, if you are running EVs, you need to make sure your capacity is not overrun for the board, as I've explained on other videos before already. Um, and yeah, nice little quality check. This was looked at on the 4th of November, so it's not been tested that long ago. What's the date today? It must be about 16th, I think. So yeah, really good. Impressive stuff. I'll leave links to go and find the particular product here on the CEF website, because that's where I bought it. If you want to have a look. Any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thank you all for bearing with me and watching. I'm going to take this on to as much detail as possible as we build this up because I want to share it with everyone who's followed along the last couple of years and I will see you on the next one.